Well, that's top priority. And Robert Jimmy. Plant will be at the XM compound down here in Washington, D.C. in a couple hours. We're not going to get him on the show. No. And no. if we did, I would just, I would pass out. I would just pass out. I mean, I, I, I love Nirvana and all that, but if I had to really think about my favorite band of all time, it has to be Zeppelin. It just has to be. Until the, the, the album Coda, they didn't make a bad song. Well, maybe Hot Dog, but Hot Dog was a little shaky. Yeah, when they were trying to do a little pop, pop song thing. But, sure. But besides that, I mean, they made album after album after album. Every fucking song just rocked and was great. The the writing, the playing. Yeah, he would be the one that would make me lose my mind if he he walked through the studio. Hey, Anthony. Yeah. What about you? Me. Yeah, we all know I, you know Norton's obsession with Ozzy. I finally figured out someone that is alive that I would freak yeah. out over, and that would be Robert Plant. I think any of the members of ABBA, if I saw <laughs> one of them, I would just... Uh, it's got to be my favorite of all time. Um, no, There's got to really, be one, no? No. I really don't have one of those. Wow. Maybe not even a music uh, guest, like um, mm. movie star, Ooh, uh, politician. Ooh, well, Bob. Or Nicholson. Well, there's Bob. a lot of those guys, but... Yeah. Yeah, there's plenty, you know, like that. Probably Ted Danson. Major Ted Danson. Sure, sure. Actor like De Niro. Sure, that would really be kind of a tough interview or something like that if I saw him. Uh, Reggie in Jackson. The studio. Uh, no, you like Reggie? Ugh. I like Reggie, but it wouldn't really make me freak out or anything. I would freak out at like you know Pacino walking in and sitting down and yeah. having to uh, carry on an interview with him. I would be all da da da. You know, you look over. I rem- I remember one of the first interviews I ever had to do. For, for radio, when I just got into the biz, Opie, me and you, over there uh, up, up in Boston. Pauly Shore? Yes. Paul, no. <laughs> Jesus. Bill Maher? Uh, no. It was uh, uh, Eddie Van Halen. Oh, oh my remember? God, yeah. We were backstage. We were broadcasting backstage. Never really expected to talk to the guys. And they walked right in by where we were broadcasting. Uh, at the Worcester Central. Yeah. And they walked by, and I, I, we had mics. Obviously, we're doing a show, and kind of stood up with the mic and leaned over the table and said, Eddie, come here, you know, and started asking him questions. And I didn't even know what I was saying. All I could do was look at him like I'm holding the mic and I'm staring at him going, holy shit, it's Eddie Van Halen. He's like a foot away from me. You know, and that was kind of weird and freaky because throwing up, you know, Van Halen, stop. One of the silliest Best. moments we ever had, because you just brought back a memory for me, was um, MTV Music Awards. Yeah. And we just finished our broadcast and... uh Rick, our old producer, we're going up the stairs, remember? Uh huh. You know what I'm about to say. And all of a sudden, Rick uh, yeah, runs up to John Bon Jovi and yeah. goes, uh, Hey, I'm Rick from, you know, I produce the Opie and Anthony show, and uh, you, you want to talk to Opie and Anthony, whatever. And John Bon Jovi freaks out, I swear to God, and goes, Yeah, that was weird. He goes, Opie and Anthony here? Where? Where? And so Rick points down the stairs. So John Bon Jovi runs down the stairs. He's now six inches in front of my face. And then as John Bon Jovi's like, you guys rock. We listen to you all the time. All of a sudden, uh, what's Richie, his? Richie. Richie Sambor, Richie's uh, further up the stairs and goes, John, Opie and Anthony are here? And he runs down the stairs. Now and they're we telling have, us how much they love the show. Yeah. They're quoting bits. Yeah. And we're just looking at him like, holy shit, it's Bon Jovi. Yeah, and so now we got John Bon Jovi and Richie Ooh. Sambor six inches from our face just saying how much they love the show. And I guess yeah. what happened was the drummer of the band is the real fan. I forgot his name of Bon Jovi. Yeah, and Tico Torres. Oh, thank you. Yeah. And he was listening to the show and told the guys about us mm-hmm. when they were practicing in Jersey and stuff. So I guess they would listen to the show, you know, during their downtime. Yeah. And there you have, like Ann said, you have D- John Bon Jovi and Richie Sambora quoting bits, butt plug, and all this crap. And the only thing I could say is, uh, you guys are pretty cool, too. Yeah. <laughs> you guys rock. I-, I just lost my mind. I mean, it was such a surreal moment, yeah, you know? It was really weird. Uh, you guys, like, rock, too. <laughs> By the way, I don't want to forget to plug my new friend's CD. It's called The Mighty Rearranger. That's Robert Plant's new CD. I oh, yeah. oh, your new pal. Yeah, so getting back to that. So 